A pilot's job is not an easy one. Speaking from the physical fitness perspective, this job requires you to be sitting around in the cockpit seat for hours and hours at a stretch, which is the perfect catalyst for you to put on some weight or get fat. And on the other hand, it isn't good for your eyes in the long run as well, because uh, there, there are a lot of variations of the amount of light getting into your eyes. The light bouncing off the clouds is really bright. And on the other hand, it can get really dim at night times. And also it isn't good for your ears as well in the long run, because uh, we are exposed to a lot of pressure different day in and day out especially if you're doing multiple sectors so all of this takes a toll on your body and there are some key changes or a whole change in your lifestyle that you need to bring in uh, to make sure that you remain fit and that you clear your medical tests each year so in this video i'm going to be talking uh, on that and i'll be giving you some key suggestions and tips from my side that you can incur to make sure that you clear your medical tests each time so if you guys are ready fasten your seat belts because we're ready for takeoff What's up fellow viewers and welcome back to the Flytuber flying simplified through YouTube. My name is Elias Ghar and on this channel I talk about interesting aviation facts, aircraft knowledge and some personal suggestions to make sure that you remain fit along with your busy uh, flying life. So uh, if you are new here on this channel and if you're interested in aviation topics and if you haven't subscribed already, I highly recommend you to do that. Uh, you can do so by clicking on my uh, you know, uh, channel logo down here or also on the subscribe red subscribe button below the video. In the introduction to this video, I talked about how different things affect your physical fitness and how they take a toll on your body. Now, amidst all that, it's really difficult for you to recover and improve your health and workout, for example, because you need to take minimum amount of rest before you are up and ready for your next flight. Even if, irrespective of you being confident that you can fly with just three to four hours of sleep, it doesn't work that way. You need to be well rested for your next flight for the safety of yourself, the aircraft and the passengers. So this brings me to the first recommendation here is that please do take some time out and work out regularly at least three to five times a week and I know it's really difficult to take some time out you know especially uh, with such a busy schedule and then you have got family you might have to throw off the table your favorite movie or show or you, you might have to give up on that favorite uh, final match for example but that is the way it works that is the uh, change in lifestyle now, whenever I'm telling that you need to bring in change in lifestyle that's what I mean the next Thing I want to talk about is your eyes. Now, although uh, being a pilot, it's allowed for you to have spectacles, but if you don't already have them, then in that case, I highly recommend to take good care of your eyes. These are precious gift from our God. And, um, you know, these are irreplaceable. You cannot have a replacement. So if you don't have spectacles already, take good care of them. Avoid spending hours and hours looking at the screens, especially in this lockdown times. People are spending tremendous amount of times, uh, uh, you know, looking at the screens and avoid reading in low light, for example, have much more cash carrots. When is the last time that you guys had carried? Let me know in the comments. The next thing I want to talk about related to your eyes is laser surgery or LASIK surgery. I've talked about that in the previous video. But once again, this surgery is only for you to have the comfort of not having to wear your specs all the time. But are you ready to give up or you know risk your entire career and your dreams and passion for flying just for that small comfort? Uh, Yes, usually uh, you get a clear medical certificate. Yes, uh, laser surgery may be allowed in most cases, but still it's risky. Sometimes there were complications in the past that had led uh, permanent unfit for many pilots. So I really recommend you to stay away from that. Still, if you want to go ahead, one more suggestion I can give you is please first get yourself uh, an opinion from a good certified uh, eye ophthalmologist or the class one or class two medical doctors before you go ahead with the surgery. The next thing that you need to take care of is your ears. One tip here I can give you is uh, before you go for your medicals each year, one or two days before uh, you go for the medicals, go to an ENT doctor and get wax cleared out of your ear. That will be helpful in the pure tone audiometry test that tests your ears. And please avoid prolonged use of headphones and especially the earphones that go inside your ear. 
and if you live around a really noisy area like a factory for example and especially pilots do tend to live near airports as close to the airports as possible and you know uh, you know such areas are really noisy uh, the because of the aircraft noises in that case uh, you might want to consider moving a little further from the airport or the factory etc near which you are staying because on the long run this takes a toll on your ear you might not realize it on the short term but on the long run it does affect your ears the next thing that you need to take good care of is your heart it's really important organ it's a muscle and it needs to be trained so yeah regular exercise is what i recommend especially your cardio exercises and there's something known as hit or high intensity interval training google about that if you don't know already and that is really effective thing to get good results uh, really quickly and obviously avoid oily food and fried food and have a tap on your cholesterol levels and one important tip that i want to give here is whenever you go for your medical especially when the doctor is taking your ECG and 2D echo readings please do not get scared or you know nervous because that might uh, hinder the readings and it might you know put out some doubts in the medical results you need to stay calm don't worry there's nothing to get scared of you will easily clear your medicals that is a power tip there if you guys have got information and value out of this video so far smash that like button and subscribe to the channel let's continue further the next thing i want to talk about is smoking and drinking now if you haven't already started and if you aren't already in the, into these practices then i highly recommend you to stay away from this it's a big rabbit hole and you won't even realize when you get addicted to them and once you are addicted it's really difficult to stop and get away from these things and if you already are into it then try and slowly get away from these things now from a medical perspective medical point of view these things are okay there are a lot of pilots uh, who smoke and have alcohol Alcohol and they have, don't have any problem in flying or in clearing the medical tests but here is what I mean when I tell you not to do these things so basically you cannot fly until 12 hours after you have had alcohol and uh, if at all you do so if at all you report for your flying duties before these 12 hours have passed uh, you have to know that there is something known as breath analyzer test or a BA test that is done before each and every flight and if at all you are tested positive uh, then there are really severe consequences i'm going to be touching on that in a different video on uh, pilot b uh, tests but yeah that is the thing and it's really risky and uh, look at me i do not drink at all so that test is not a tension for me at all each time i go it's just another formality that i have to get through because i don't drink uh, you know you don't have to calculate each and every time okay so and so time is my flight time so this is the last uh, time till which I can have alcohol you won't have to get into all those stuff and it's really difficult for you to test positive if you don't drink at all why I say difficult once again because this there are certain things that might still get you positive for BA uh, all of that in a different video on BA test and now talking about the smoking perspective well I don't know if I should be saying this or not but uh, sometimes the pilots who are addicted to smoking who smoke a lot they get these urges in flight and you know they want to land as soon as possible and get out and get that uh, puff of smoke that is really not good uh, you know you really have to be really attentive and focused on flying so these are the reasons why i ask you guys to stay away from uh, smoking and drinking the next and very important thing i want to talk here about is obesity you need to keep a check on your weight and make sure that you lie in that normal bmi range although you can be a little over or underweight but if your bmi is way off if you are really uh, overweight very overweight and uh, obese uh, then in that case it might render you a TMU or temporarily medically unfit the doctor will advise you to uh, lose weight and come back again but I suggest that why to get in all this uh, mess in the first place why not keep a tap on your weight and make sure to look at what goes into your tummy and have proper and regular exercise for example and on the other hand this is a noble profession you represent a good and responsible job so why not look good in your uniform rather than looking obese and tight in your shirt and uniform so if this is not a thing you had thought about in the past and if you are now stepping into the field of aviation I highly recommend you to you know have a good knowledge about diet plans and uh, you know workouts you can google different things uh, high intensity interval training is one good thing and speaking about the diet there are different uh, 
diet campaigns and different diet plans that you can follow uh, you know some common things are ketogenic diet or intermittent fasting or carb cycling you can google and follow a good diet plan that suits your needs all i want to tell you is you need to bring in that lifestyle change if you want to be a pilot and the next thing is drugs and narcotics so like alcohol stays in your bloodstream for up to 12 hours on the other hand if you have drugs then that tends to stay in your dna and in your hair for example for years and years like uh, doctors have said that 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 tends to stay in your uh, system for eight to ten years and upwards and whenever you join an airline you will be tested for drugs and narcotics and uh, you know you won't be able to fly if at all you test positive and anyways which it is punishable by law it's illegal and i'm sure that no subscriber of mine are into such practices but still it's my responsibility please stay away from drugs and narcotics and the last thing that i want to talk here about is covid 19 i just hope that each and every one stays away and safe from this deadly virus and i know that you guys may have heard and listened to these lines quite often but still uh, please take all precautions take care of yourselves and uh, you know stay at your homes all the times and try as much as possible not to go out and if at all you have to make sure that you wear a mask or two and make sure that the mask is tightly wrapped around your face and whenever you wear a mask try and blow and uh, just see that if there is any leakages because if air can go out it can also come in so that is an important thing over there sanitize your hands regularly and maintain social distancing we are all together in this and we will get out of this together and i just hope all of this thing goes away and uh, you know the whole world becomes a better place and the vision industry prospers once again so that's it for this video i hope that this video was helpful for you guys and i hope that after you guys watch this video it'll be helpful and you guys uh, you know make sure that you guys clear your medical tests uh, every year all the best uh, for uh, your medical tests and all the best being a pilot and uh, that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next video happy landings till then